hey guys so um if you've at all followed me before and maybe you didn't even have to because a lot of the footage that I put up is pre shaved head um, I shaved my head obviously I just felt like I needed to pop on real quick and address it um, I'm getting a lot of questions about why I shaved my head um, from friends and family so why not answer it all here right right okay so about a year and a half ago I had a vision that I was ball headed in all white on a beach being cleansed and for those of you who follow certain um, spiritual practices that is significant of a rebirth and I knew that I had to do it I knew that it was time for rebirth there were just things that were consistently happening that I could no longer ignore um, so I hesitated to cut it off for a long time because my hair had gotten so big and I finally understood how to work with it and what it liked and where it liked to lay and I was in love with my hair um, but I also realized that I couldn't move further in my spiritual practice my spiritual journey and that puts a halt on everything else in your life until I did this so it again it took like a year and a half for me to build up the courage to be able to do this and my hair is an antenna basically um, whenever I had my hair out and I was around a lot of different energies and people and thought processes I would automatically feel overwhelmed I would feel everything that was going on in the room and I would just have to like I, I started just braiding it up and or covering it up or wrapping it up um, because I realized that you know your hair is an antenna it's an ex it's extension of you um, and I realized that you know I couldn't move forward and really celebrate my hair if I had to keep covering it up and that was just significant of me not doing what I knew I was supposed to do and cutting it off in the first place so um, I prayed on it I meditated on it and I asked once I cut it off do I have to keep it cut off and the answer was no I'm very happy to say that I get to grow my hair back I just had to release those energies that were attached to that certain to that hair and when I look back on I'll say the last four years is when my hair really started to get big um, the last four years was full of growth full of fear and doubt it was full of mistakes it was full of men that I needed to release let's let's be real we're talking about it um, and there's no coincidence that me chopping my hair off comes uh, close to the tail end of me being celibate for a year um, I decided that it would be best for me to sacrifice physical pleasure for several reasons um, for me to focus on what needed to be focused on not just some dude or you know <sighs> and that's not healthy that's not healthy for a <laughs> that's not healthy for any party involved just to be involved physically especially when you begin to know your worth so I did begin to know my worth um, I realized that celibacy was going to help me um, focus on me, focus on my spirituality, and become clearer in where I'm going. Um, and I decided, I feel like I'm jumping all over the place because I'm getting personal and I'm not used to getting this personal on YouTube like this is conversations these are kitchen talk conversations for like me and my friends um, anyway okay so yes 
I have been on the path for celibacy for almost a year now and coming to the tail end of that and shaving my hair off and also covering up a tattoo that I've had for a very long time, all of these things coinciding at the same time really does signify a rebirth. And the vision that I had, the dream that I had of me being on a beach in all white, being cleansed, came true on this very trip. I had a full moon ceremony on the beach and I gave thanks and I let go of a lot of different things. So that is the uh, story of why I shaved my head off. Um, my head off. <laughs> that is the story of why I shaved my hair off. Basically to start over, to start new, um, to refresh and honor myself. So I'm happy for this new head of hair that's growing in. I know what it wants. I know how to take care of it. I know how to take care of me. Um, I know how to take care of me so the hair that I'm growing, the extension of me that's picking up all these different things won't be clouded. Starting over. That's it. That's it. In my <laughs> and I am um, I am going to do my best to go past January 6th for the celibacy. Maybe I'll, I'll, if you want to, if you want me to make a video solely about this whole celibacy path that I've taken, um, let me know in the comments below, but I am going to try to extend it until my birthday, April 4th, because that is when I actually decided to do it for a year. Not just when I stopped having sex. That's when I decided to be celibate. Um, so I'm going to honor, do my best to honor the April 4th commitment. Um, it ain't easy. It is not easy. I am an Aries. I don't know if that means anything to you guys. And I don't even know if that's right with this new Zodiac thing that's going on. I gotta check that out. But I'm full of fire um in the best way possible and that translates into my sexuality so it has not been easy to be celibate but the benefits of being celibate have far outweighed the physical want the physical weight um that sometimes comes up when you are practicing celibacy so that's why i shaved my head off you guys this is again i just wanted to come to you raw and tell you the truth that's it thank you guys so much don't forget to like and subscribe if you're new if you're not new thank you for coming back and giving me another chance and follow me on instagram because i'm good there i do good things there <laughs> Bye, guys.